girls were affected mostly because uh, there was loss of jobs and income and um, as much as the men work women also work here and uh, do small businesses and so with covid coming and lockdowns and um, curfews especially the curfews because we had very tight curfews um it 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 yeah it caused a lot of loss of income for the women and then as for the girls we had uh, kids dropping not really dropping sorry kids had to stop school for almost a year so there were no classes and um this caused a lot of problems especially while they were confined at home during the lockdown period a lot of workload was put on the especially the girl child you know you have to wash dishes and wash clothes and so instead of actually catching up with you know like reading or catching up with your education you're busy taking care of household chores and um also we had issues of girls experiencing rape and uh, unfortunately being molested maybe by relatives or step brothers or friends or friends of your brothers who have come to visit and uh yeah we had a high recording of teenage pregnancies and so that was one of like i would say the downest <laughs> moments of of covid uh, impact especially on young girls i would say um let me give it a little bit of background because at the moment cbm is navigating its way into partnership doing joint ministries especially with our partner acc and s in pika um at the moment i would say we're still looking at uh financial support um towards the project uh in pika which had been initiated by reverend martha so it's it's still in its initial stages for i mean she may have had the project before but cbm just began um supporting or coming on board with the project just in 2022 and it's um a project for young girls so uh it's still quite new and there's still so much to learn about what she intends to keep going with the young girls probably it's vocational training or vocational education because some of them would be past the age of doing primary school so maybe she is looking at doing vocational education or training or maybe in the areas of um you know just self care as young girls how to take care of yourself how to um relate with people around you how to go for careers based i mean based on your capacity or who you are and regardless of uh their gender in the community so she's basically empowering young girls in the community and cbm is doing a joint ministry with acc and us on that uh previously cbm has done so much um work with women in kenya uh we've supported urban muslim ministry where we had women in self help groups and young girls encouraged to be in school encouraged to I mean they supported um both girls and boys in in primary education and secondary education but mostly in the areas of self help group for women so uh, muslim women in the urban areas christian women in the urban areas all coming together and being trained on small businesses for income generation purposes yeah so cbm has a background of working with women before but at the moment um given the big pandemic break you know and um you know like the phase off of the previous projects coming into 2022 we are um initiating a joint ministry with Martha Reverend Martha and hoping that we are going to get more impact and more um work get more work done through the partner acc and s so i have seen girls going to school more than before uh as 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 well as or 
as much as the boys are going to school, the girls are also getting the opportunity to education. Uh, we have fewer cases of early marriages uh, for girls, especially. And then we are also seeing um, women uh, engage and get involved in businesses and employment as opposed to before when they probably felt intimidated by, um, you know, by the position or the place where they have been put before in the community. So at least now we see women trying out different, even if it's small businesses and, uh, you know, getting to work for a living. And then the other part that I was talking about was women in leadership. So in the communities, we find women working in leadership positions, uh, community places, in community positions, like being a chief of a community and um, also having, being put or being involved in decision-making in, 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 com in community meetings. So they're able to have a voice or speak on behalf of other women. I would say avoid peer pressure. Um, try and be an original version of you, be your own person. Uh, avoid trying to impress, avoid trying to fit in. Just, um, just be your own person. Be the person that uh the person that you feel comfortable to be don't be don't stretch to be someone that you're not just because um you're trying to be trendy or you're trying to be to go with the trend or go with the fashion or whatever it is that surrounds you just try and be yourself um the other thing i was saying um is speak up talk talk about whatever it is that you're going through that you're having a hard time with or a dif difficult time with find someone that you trust find someone that you know you can look up to it could be someone in your home in your family it could be someone in the church it could be someone in your community uh, just never keep anything to yourself that could harm you your mental health is extremely important uh, so speak up and um, the other thing i was saying is stay focused um, set your goals and stay focused and Work on your goals until you feel like, you know, I'm seeing some success out of it. I'm finding some achievement in what I have set out to do. And in that part, I was saying that there, there may be a lot of ups and downs and you're going to probably face some setbacks as you try to, to, know, to go towards your goal. But just stay focused. Don't lose focus. And then the other part is, you can be what you want to be. You can do what you want to do. So just believe yourself, believe in yourself. There is nothing that you cannot attain if you put your mind and your heart to it. So just keep going, keep trying, believe in yourself, tell yourself every day that I'm able to do this. Others have done it, I can do it as well. And I was saying in that part that um, careers don't have genders, you know? So you set out what to do whether it's something that men do or they don't do but just get out and do it and whatever you put your mind to it you'll do it um so the other part uh, was love yourself love yourself god loves us god made us fearfully and wonderfully and if we look at his perfect love for us then we will love ourselves and when we love ourselves then there's nothing that can be taken from us, um, not our self-worth, not our self-esteem. We will not be um, derailed from, you know, from whatever it is that we are setting out to do because we know that we have it in us, that we have, you know, that we, we have it all. God has loved us and has given us so much. So my point there is just look at yourself and just love yourself. Don't, don't worry about what people tell you outside don't worry about how people treat you or how they put you down love yourself so it's important as a young girl or a young woman to love yourself and put yourself i mean yeah put others first 
but it's also good to put yourself first your you know i'm talking about your mental health your you know your psychological health if if you are empty you cannot you know you cannot really do anything for anyone else so feed feed yourself with good thoughts good vibes you know just love yourself so i would say those are my advice for or that's my advice for young women that uh, in a nutshell you can attain anything if you think of those things that uh, i've put across yeah